everyone and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo. I own a company called The Stock Swoosh. I'd like to welcome you into my world. Tonight I'm doing a lecture on having a wealth consciousness. It's a very important lecture. So I'm welcoming you into my home, into my apartment. And I'm noticing here these wonderful grasses <laughs> in, the, uh, in the background. It's like just right there they are. I love trees and flowers and everything and I have like a nine foot palm tree actually in my apartment. It's way behind this thing but you can't see it. One of the days I'm going to get them and film. So tonight we're going to talk about having a wealth consciousness and if you do you can buy all the grasses and palm trees that you can eat. So welcome. I'm going to lecture to you today and as I do I'm going to be looking back and forth from the camera because my system is set up that I have two screens and the PowerPoint is on one side, my face will be on the other side. I think it's very important for you to see my face and my eyes and get the feel for what I'm trying to say to grab you and to reach you so that you really take the information in that I'm going to talk to you about tonight. Okay? So welcome. Again, tonight's topic is a wealth consciousness. What is a wealth consciousness and why do I need it? What is wealth consciousness? The first step to becoming wealthy is to create a wealth consciousness. That is the first step. Now, I'm going to read you a quote. This is from Richard Carlson, who's the author of Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. He says, wealth consciousness is so much more than simply having the ability to make money. It's a mindset that involves seeing life, not as a struggle, but as a magical adventure where all our needs are met with grace and ease. It includes the ability to see beauty wherever you go, to have gratitude, okay, gratitude, and that's very important, as your primary emotion, an open heart to all you meet. Well, consciousness is a state of mind, a sense, not a believing, but really knowing, knowing that what we need is available to us, okay, very, very important. If you are a human being with a mind, then you have the power to use your mind to control your thoughts. I have a very powerful mind, and so do you. You have a powerful mind too. You can have positive thoughts or you can have negative thoughts. What kind of thoughts are going to help you achieve success in training positive thoughts? I mean, this is obvious, okay? Because negative thoughts are not going to help you do well in the market. You need to have positive thoughts about your training, but you also need to have positive thoughts about money. How can you do that? By having a wealth consciousness. Many, many times I talk to people on the phone because I teach a class on my method how to trade successfully in the market. And I talk to people and I can tell, I can tell immediately. Literally, I've become so good at reading people, even people I don't meet. Because I don't meet 99% of the people that I teach because everything's online. Okay, and more than half my clients don't even live in the U.S., let alone New York, where I live and reside. But the reality is that, I mean, I can just tell when I talk they have such a negative attitude about the market and money. And yet, they're willing to go into the market every day and keep risking money, having a terrible attitude about money, wealth, being profitable, being successful, or even the market. If you don't have conviction that the market is a source of wealth or that you can do well and make money in the market, how do you think that you are going to get up the next day and make money? How? I mean, when I took a trade some days and the trade doesn't work, I say, oh, we got to get up tomorrow and have amnesia. I forget about it immediately. That's one, well, I have a lot of good qualities, but that it was one really great quality that I had when I was going through the process of teaching myself my system that I'm do now and I'm very successful with but at the beginning when I started I was losing money but I had this amazing ability to be able to get up the next day and just go right at it I would just go right at it I would have amnesia like literally there were days I it's just there's so many stories but I would lose money on the day this is like two and I would be under the amount of the account that I I would take the trade the next day. Like, I would have to refund the account in order to trade the next day. I would race to the bank. I had the money to do it. But I would race to the bank to wire the money that day so that I could trade the next day. That's how much 
I had amnesia. Like I just would not stop. I had to figure this out. I really wanted to do it. I kept persevering. But I'm telling you, many, many people go through the process of trading and then they, they have a negative attitude about money, a negative attitude about the market. This doesn't serve them well to be successful. And on top of that, they can't have amnesia. They don't allow themselves to have amnesia. And you must have amnesia, okay, about things that happened in your past because that is not going to serve you today. Right now, the second where I am today, thinking about anything that happened 100,000 years ago is not going to do me any good today. Okay, especially if it was something that hurt you. You don't want to rethink about things that hurt you, okay? Because you got to love yourself so you can move forward. All right, let's go to the next card here. A wealth consciousness is when you are in a state where you have a good relationship with money. What does that mean? It means that money flows easily to you. You spend money with ease and without restraint. You do not feel that money controls you because it does not. You control you. You recognize that you control you and you control your relationship with money. If you are focused on lack, which many people are, and that is not the right mindset to have everything that you desire, okay, or create it or manifest it, if you are focused on lack, you will create more lack. It's like a snowball effect. And this is why you have to create the right mindset to attract the things that you want into your life. If you're focused on creating material abundance, money, wealth, and happiness, you will create more of that. What you think about will grow and expand. Why? Because we're very powerful. We have very, very powerful minds. I have a powerful mind and you have a powerful mind. Yes, we do. We absolutely do. And so therefore, if you are focused on something that you shouldn't be focused on that you don't want, you're going to create it. And even if you didn't want it, that's the bugaboo. Okay. If you're focused on lack, you will create more lack. If you're focused on creating material abundance, money, wealth, and happiness, you will create more of that to the good, okay, which is what you want. What you think about will grow and expand, whether positive or negative. It's like a polarized thing, the North Pole, the South Pole. You cannot allow fear of any kind or specifically fear of lack rule your mind. If you fear where the money will come from or fear losing control of your thoughts, are fairly in controlling your trading, then that is what you will create. I would say the people that are really, really close to me, which is not that many people actually, but there's a few. And those people that are really, really close to me, 100%. No chance of failure and of 100% conviction in all the things I'm saying to you right now because they have been a part of my life and are close to me in my life and actually see me creating things that I desire from knowing me from like today and staying to be my close friend and things that I want to manifest or create in my life. And then they play out over the course of days or weeks or years to the point that some of my friends are like, oh my Lanta. Like, some of my friends are like, oh, my Lanta. Like, literally. And it is helping my friends manifest things that they desire in their own life. Why? By example. By my own example to do it. And, you know, really only the very close people in my life are seeing this. Obviously, I'm just meeting you for the first time. And I've only even had the business where I've taught people how to trade since 2012. So it's only been three years for that. So even the people that have known me from that time, well, that is three years. But the people that know me that are still with me now in trading have seen how I have transitioned and grown even to become this amazing motivator, trader, teacher. But I will tell you that the people that are with me from the beginning that have seen me get to this point in my life really like, I've inspired them. I've become an inspiration for them to do the things that I'm saying and talking about right now. And this is what I want to point out. It is very, very important. Okay. I speak the truth out loud. No hesitation. (laughs) No hesitation. No holding back. I'm very real. Of the uncertainty and let go of the fear. Do not trade with fear. Do not trade with fear of the outcome. Fear actually holds us back from becoming and developing into a great trader or anything you want to do in your life. 
Don't be afraid of yourself or the market. Having a healthy relationship with money is essential to becoming a successful trader. Having a good relationship with money is going to help you make money trading and in anything that you want to do with your whole life. Developing a healthy relationship with money and a clear idea. Clear, 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 clear. You have to know clear. Clarity. Okay. Developing a healthy relationship with money and a clear idea you need to be truly wealthy, which you do need to know, is essential for success in your trading and your life. Okay? Now, I am saying life because this could be anything. You might not want to be a full-time trader like me. You might want to do something else and then make money trading on the side because my strategy, you trade and you only do it in 30 minutes. You could do 100,000 other things with your life. I mean, you could run a business. You could do this. You could do that. You could be a hairdresser. You could be a gymnast you could be a singer a musician i'm interviewing a rapper on monday okay michael is a musician okay so the, you could do so many other things and still trade the market okay but you also could do just this and nothing else and it's a nice lifestyle because of the fact that you can have unlimited income and only work a short period of the day which i love because when i did mortgages i worked so many hours i had no life i had no life why do you think that i'm single like I'm single right now because I had no life for so long because of the fact that I worked my butt off doing mortgages. And then I worked my butt off teaching myself how to trade to get to this point. <laughs> Anyways, to make a long story short, you have to have the right and it has to not be not in fear and you have a healthy attitude and relationship with money. Okay, you're not afraid to spend it on my class, you're not afraid to take the risk in a trade. You have 100% conviction the trade's going to work and you do it and you place the trade because you can't make money in the market unless you take risk. I mean, that is just a fact. This is really good stuff, people. Really, really, really good stuff. So get clear with your own financial expectations of what you desire and need with your trading. And that is the moral of the story this evening. There is enough money available to you for all you need from the market. Having an optimistic attitude is essential. Don't work against yourself. You've got There's too many other people out there working against you. So you need yourself. Therefore, you need to work for yourself because you have other people that are working against you. If you don't have yourself working for you, then what are you going to do? you got nothing. Okay, you need yourself. At the end of the day, you need yourself. You know what? I had a lot of people that believed in me. I had a lot of people that loved me. I had a lot of people that supported me, but at the end of the day, I did it because I believed in myself. And if you have nothing left but yourself, I'm telling you, you can make it. You can make it. If you love one dime to your name, but you believe in yourself and your dreams, you can make it. Whatever that happens to be, whether it's trading the market or anything else, I'm telling you, you gotta have yourself. If you lose yourself and, and lose yourself, you have nothing, okay? Because no one else will believe in you if you've lost touch with yourself and don't even know who you are or what you desire out of your life or what you want to do, okay? And if you lose faith in yourself, you've got nowhere to turn. you got to love yourself and you need yourself in this lifetime. You absolutely do. So be conscious all the time with your thoughts about wealth and money and yourself and how you feel about yourself, specifically when you're trading and when you're walking around the globe on this planet. Thank you everyone for coming tonight and listening to my lecture on having a wealth consciousness. Have a wonderful evening and the next, the next lecture.